Well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome again this wonderful evening to our episode five of Nectar of Reason, where we cross-pollinate ideas and, and I could add that we vandalize ignorance. <laughs> so welcome everyone from your homes, wherever you are, to this episode. Um, we have a, again a very uh, fascinating topic to discuss. Uh, we'll be looking and reflecting on the future of our continent, Africa. Uh, of course, we, we, we want to look at the bigger picture, at the bigger scope we could have, you know, funneled it and talk about South Africa as a country, you know, of the various uh, issues that are happening around the country. Well, uh, despite the issue of the corona and so on, uh, in, as it relates to the economy, the political economy of the, count, the continent and so on. So um, I'm joined this evening uh, by a wonderful guest to discuss this subject that is there a real hope in African leaders, uh, you know, uh, in them really bringing a turnaround and bringing this much needed development in our continent, you know, and, and I'm, I must add that, you know, this adjective I put, real hope, it is very important because uh, really we want to see the continent moving forward in a pace that, you know, uh, you know, advances the lives of the people of the continent. But of course, it's not something that looks to be real. So for that to have, you know, uh, 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 insight and input, we're joined by uh, Dr. Joel Valoy. Uh, Dr. Joel, I'll just introduce him before he, he greets you and uh, uh, maybe you want to greet our viewers <laughs> okay. before I go on. And <laughs> All right, no, no th thanks so much, uh, my brother. Yeah, um, I must also greet you and uh, appreciate this uh, opportunity that was afforded to me uh, to you know, just have this uh, time uh, to just um, talk about issues. Uh, so yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to, <laughs> to the right. conversation. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Dr. Baloyi is a, a versatile a professional who is an ordained church minister, a preacher of the word of God. He is a certified life and business coach, a, a lawyer and advocate, um, a, an academic and an experienced corporate given, uh, governance professional. Uh, and I must add, you know, I've had a very minimum interaction with, with Dr. Baloyi, but, uh, you know, the depth of his and his insight and his passion about leadership is the one that, you know, I thought of no other person, better person that could sit and really discourse on these very important issues about how uh, the continent which we are placed, you know, in by God can, can advance and move forward in terms of um, uh, leadership. Uh, but um, so doc, uh, uh, Dr. Baloye uh, has, has his own doctorate uh, and uh, uh, he, he, his doctorate was in uh, uh, is the first comprehensive doctorate in the area of music law. So he is an expert uh, in music law. Uh, from 2005 until 2010, uh, he worked as South African Music Rights Organization as the head of legal uh, company secretary. Um, and his uh, profile is quite illustrious. Uh, he also worked as Deputy Registrar of Governance at the University of South Africa, UNISA. Um, he, and something that we're talking about now with Dr. Uh, Balo is that he has participated in legislative processes and influenced changes uh, to the Companies Act 71 of 2008, as well as being invited as an expert advisor in Parliament in formulating these uh, copyright amendment bills and so on that relate to music and entertainment and uh, uh, he is a, is an author, a well traveled and a speaker who has pro, um, uh, 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 produced papers, internationally acclaimed papers uh, in his own era of expertise. Thank you, sir, uh, for making the time in your very busy schedules mm. to, you know, want to talk about these important issues. Yes, th th thanks, thanks so much. A pleasure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's just get straight so wherever you are our viewers we would like you to interact with us to participate on this uh, discussion this discourse we said we are talking about is there 
real hope, you know, in African leadership. So we're not looking uh, per se in leadership, I must say. We are looking at African leaders. You know, there have been assertions that Africans cannot lead. <laughs> yes, uh, and it's apparently, unfortunately, uh, doctor, it seems most of uh, our African leaders have seemed to uh, prove these naysayers uh, correctly mm -hmm. that we cannot lead and that's why we want to know what's your insight, what's your input, mm -hmm. what's your view about African leaders and the continent? Can we really uh, bring this, that renaissance that is required? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to talk about the, the statistics, but I may say that um, uh, uh, and I'm, I just give the context so that when uh, uh, the doctors start to unpack uh, everyone can understand the context of where we are. Uh, we understand that in contemporary history, Africa uh, as a continent is known as a continent of gloom and darkness. Uh, but that's not all. I know there are areas where we excel, maybe in the area of agriculture or mining or whatever. Uh, but what is factual that we are a rich uh, continent in terms of minerals and natural uh, resources? The continent has never succeeded in translating these benefits to our people. We have not been able to succeed in uh, and so for the purpose of this discussion we accept um, the view that among other important factors the africa's problem majorly lies on leadership you know there could be other things that were being taken advantage of our history and so on leadership say mm. uh, so we want you to explain to us first and foremost what be the the value of leadership you mm. know mm. um do we really need leadership to determine our our de our destiny, you mm. know, a, as a people, as as a continent, as a country, as South Africa? Mm. Um, but also, want you to, to go further and try to tell our viewers and everyone who's interested in this important topic as to uh, what will it take, mm. you know, for Africa to attain that meaningful economic development? Mm. And here we are not talking about, you know, the slot of papers that have been produced, intellectual commentary. Mm. But we're talking about, is there a real hope when mm. we look at our leaders mm. in just bringing the change? Maybe you can start there before you unpack the other aspects because we also want you to uh, talk about, do Africans or people of African descent mm. who look like me and you, mm. <laughs> you mm. know, uh, do they have the capacity to lead effectively? Mm. <laughs> Some may see this as an insult, mm. you know, mm. but we do have few leaders who mm. have rose to prominence mm. as African leaders, mm. but I don't think it's enough, you mm. know, to celebrate one or two leaders mm. in Africa, mm. you know, uh, but also to know what is the remedy of these problems that we have in leadership, mm. the selfish that we see, the greed mm. uh, that we see, the, the, the corruption uh, and so on. Mm. I think you can start, you know, uh, um, reflecting on these issues for us yeah. uh, and, and, and we, we'll move from there. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, thank you so much, and thank you, uh, listeners. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I think I must preface my uh, 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 discussion or my conversation by saying that I'm, I'm actually, I'm not a political commentator, uh, you know, a political analyst or, or social com commentator such, but uh, the issues that you're bringing up are very important issues, and I think that uh, every one of us should actually be uh, be, be, be interested um, in, and be gripped with uh, wanting to really, um, uh, uh, you know, deliberate on these issues and, and yeah. try and um, uh, find solutions around them because they, they really go to the, to the core of, of our existence as a people, as, yes. as Africans. Yeah. And that indictment has, has gone on for some time, you know, about, um, you know, uh, the ability of Africans to, 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 to lead. Mm. And um, um, I think that for me, it's very important that uh, we, we sort of um, go to the depth of the matter. Mm. Uh, if we want to really understand what, what is actually happening. And this is, as you say, mm. there have been things said about Africans. Uh, yes. Africans cannot lead. Yes. And, and what, what appears to be the, the, the case on the ground, it seems like uh, 
uh, this is uh, actually proven to be <laughs> to be true yeah. when we look at what's actually happening. Yeah. Uh, there was a story sometime, I don't know how authentic it is, yeah. where um, a former president, or apartheid president of South Africa, P.W. Bother, was, um, uh, you know, credited for, for saying that, uh, you know, blacks, um, if, if you put them into leadership, uh, they, 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 won't, they won't be able to lead the country. They'll mm. just grind it to, to ruin. Mm. And I don't know how authentic that was, but uh, I would say if it was authentic, if you really said that, and, mm. and people are actually looking back, and I think uh, we must acknowledge the fact that we are really in a crisis uh, mm. today as, mm. as things stand. It's, mm. uh, and, and you have pinpointed that very correctly, very aptly. The crisis we have is a crisis of leadership. Yes. Um, it, it's, um, uh, and we know that there are underlying issues yes. uh, that are very important, uh, like you know the, the issues around the, the, the economy not performing as it should, mm. uh, the issues around the inequality that we have in society, the mm. poverty and all that. Mm. All those things really boil down to this, um, to this crisis, the mm. crisis of leadership, leadership. That, that you're talking about. And, um, mm. If we look at the concept of leadership itself and we ask ourselves the question, what is leadership and, and yes. what we mean by leadership? I, I rather like the, the definition given by um, uh, one of the foremost uh, leadership gurus uh, in, in the world, um, mm. uh, uh, in business circles, uh, John Maxwell, John Maxwell uh, yes. uh, who, who defined leadership. He actually says uh, leadership is influence. And, and, and nothing more or nothing, nothing more, or nothing less. Yes. So it's about influence. And it mm. says it's a process of, of social influence mm. which maximizes the effort of others. Mm. I think if you can just underline that, it, mm. it maximizes the, the efforts, efforts of, of others mm. towards the achievement of um, you know, a particular goal. Mm. So it's about influence, but the influence we're talking about is a positive influence. It's an mm. influence that leads to the achievement of, 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 of certain goals mm. with regard to the efforts that others are making. Mm. But I think that... Because, because in yeah. Africa, we have yeah. goals that have been set. Uh, yes. We have bodies, various bodies that yeah. we set goals for. 2020. We have the Millennium Development Millennium Goals. Development we have goals. all. Yeah. Then yeah. bring us back to say, yeah. how then, according mm. to your definition, yeah. the attainment of these goals, how yeah. do we move towards attaining them? But it's important what you said earlier, when you say it's not really just about leadership as a concept, mm. because a lot has been said about that. Mm. There has been a lot written about that. Yeah. It's, it's the leaders themselves. Mm. And, and John Maxwell is speaking about, uh, you know, being uh, leadership being about influence uh, so that you can maximize the efforts of others mm -hmm. now the questions that we must then ask do we have that kind that caliber of leadership mm -hmm. uh, in africa leaders that are concerned mm -hmm. with wanting to maximize the efforts of others mm -hmm. uh, with wanting to to actually um, help others mm. attain their aspirations and their, mm. and their goals? Mm. Or is it leaders that are self-seeking, mm. leaders that are just concerned about themselves and their, mm. their stomachs? Mm. Now the question that must then be asked is, what is wrong with African leadership? Exactly, and that's why you're here. You must tell us <laughs> what's wrong with African leadership. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah, that's why I ask, yeah. what will it take? Yeah. What, yeah. Like, yeah, carry, so. yeah, because, because mm. the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, you then say, okay, so, so if that's the case, mm. why is it that in other countries things seem to be, to be going well? Mm. Uh, yes. You know, they, they seem to be making progress. They mm. seem to be able to uh, attain the goals that they have set for themselves, the, mm. the so-called uh, social compact, um, mm. you know, uh, whereby we understand that Politicians are placed in positions of authority mm. for purposes of advancing mm. the, 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 the goals of society mm. and, and not for themselves. Mm. And, and so that question is a very important one, it's a very critical one. Now, if you look at um, John Maxwell's um, definition, which is mm. really about outward looking, what is, what is it that a, a leader does? Mm. For me, there's an element that is also very critical. Mm. It's about what is it that a leader is? Who is he? Mm. Who is the leader? Mm. And um, unless, unless you go deep into that, looking at the leader themselves, mm. who is he? Mm. Uh, for, for the leader to be able to 
um, accomplish what he said about this definition, mm -hmm. about advancing the efforts of others mm -hmm. and actually taking the lead in doing that. Mm -hmm. He himself as a leader mm -hmm. must be a certain caliber of person mm -hmm. that is actually capable of doing that. So therefore, I, I was already saying maybe there are certain qualities that are you talk about caliber yes, missing yes. in our yes. in, in our African leaders. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. That is where I'm driving at, and I'm actually saying that uh, those those qualities, those innate um, uh, uh, qualities, mm. are very are very critical mm. because, for, firstly, a leader. You, you, I don't believe you will be a leader unless you you, you are, can also be led. Mm. You know, so you so you 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 to be a leader. Yes, yes. you must mm. be in a position where. You, you have actually followed. Mm. <laughs> yes. you, can't, you, can't, you can't be a leader unless mm. you have followed. You, know, yes. you can't uh, want to have followers unless you yourself have followed. So mm. you, must, you must have been led. Mm. Uh, but, but what are you led by? So led, mm. led in this case by certain values that are very critical, mm. values that define you mm. beyond uh, you know, just your accomplishments. Mm. And, and we have, in, in Africa, we, we have no lack of 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 educated people yes uh, pe persons that are educated yes i think uh, i recall that the late um, uh, mugabe robert was mugabe one of the educated, he most had, educated yeah he had around world. seven degrees or so you yes. know around there so he was <laughs> actually so 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 but education is not our problem the pro education is not a problem it's We've, about what leads you as a, it, it's what, what leads you what dr what drives you because the, the, because the, leadership must be about something greater mm. than yourself Yo. something that actually drives you from within mm. and and it is that which um, propelled mandela to want to spend 27 years mm. behind bars mm. where when he had a, a, a you know a lucrative career yes. that 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 lay be, you know um, before him mm. in in the sense that uh, as i said he was he was a lawyer mm. uh, he, he one of the first i think that they, they are, he, he opened the first uh, legal practice uh, mm. with oliver tambo yes. and 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 and, and um, so he had everything being laid out before yeah. him mm. uh, you know for success yes. yet um, he was ready to forego so so, it. You, so then what is that thing really that uh, that is beyond and greater than the leader itself, that mm, value-driven mm. leadership that, mm, mm. you know, uh, must make our leaders and leadership to be better than how they are now. Yes, and, 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 and that's the thing, you know. Uh, mm. If you look at Mandela, as I gave you an example, that he, he, he was driven by this purpose that was beyond himself of mm. wanting to see the liberation of the, of the black man yeah. so much that his own, and, and that, that's maybe where I'm driving closer to what I'm saying, yes. his own personal aspirations mm. and desires mm. waned mm. in comparison to this bigger goal. Mm. Now, we have leaders today that are more concerned about self, um, uh, you know, um, uh, satisfaction, yeah. about what they call the, the politics of the stomach. Mm. Uh, That's and, all and self gratification. Uh, yes, and, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm. And and unless we go beyond that, mm. but what is the root cause of that? Yes, it's very critical to understand that. Mm. And um, you mentioned the fact that one of the things that I do is uh, I'm a minister of the gospel. Yes, <laughs> yes. So if if you permit me, I'd like to just um, you know read something from from the Bible. Of course, uh, which is very critical. Most definitely. Yes, yes. Um, there's something written in the Bible. In the I have wondered of, if you are going to give us a response about leadership <laughs> without going to the Bible. Because, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Mean, because I think that's about it's a, it's really about that. No, I mean yeah. the the. I mean, even people who don't ascribe to Christianity, they yeah. have given, for example, the Lord Jesus is yeah. one of the greatest leaders, yeah. a prototype of perfect leadership. Yeah. You know? yeah. And and so I'll be, I'll be surprised. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's so very please, that's very interesting. Please, please so proceed, sir. Yeah. if you go to the Bible mm. and and you read in the book of Proverbs chapter thirteen, mm. th there's a very interesting a verse there, very interesting scripture. Yes. Uh, it says, Proverbs 30, and you read there from verse 21. Mm. It says, um, under three things, mm. the earth trembles. Mm. Under four, it mm. cannot bear up. Mm. And then you wonder, what are these things? Mm. And then it mentions the first one. It says, mm. a slave who becomes king. Yes. And a fool 
when he is filled with food. <laughs> the food when, it's when he's filled food. with food. That's number two. Number two. Yeah. Then it mentions an unloved woman when she has a husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then it says a maid servant when she displaces a mistress. If you look at all of these things, the, yes. the, the, the theme is, is, a, is the same theme. Mm. Like you say, a, 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 a maid servant. She mm. was a maid, but mm. now she becomes a mistress. Mm. What does that do to her? Mm. What does that do to her psychology? Mm. What does that do to her way of thinking? And, and the, I, I think this is going to be very interesting. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think call it the bit. So, yeah. listen, gentlemen, yeah. um, I'm with uh, Dr. Joel Balo here, mm. um, uh, and, and we're trying to navigate and discuss about you know, African or, or Africa, African leaders, you know, mm. uh, the role that they have to play uh, in bringing what I can call a turnaround in our continent, yeah. you know. Uh, mm. So we have agreed with, with the doctor here mm. that it's not the issue of the problem of goals, mm. it's not the problem of education, mm. it's deeper than that. There's mm. a root cause that needs to be dealt with mm. and the doctor is unpacking on that. So, mm. so, so. I, I, I'm sorry for interjecting, because <laughs> no, no, no. I think something very exciting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I should be having, I should be writing my own notes, <laughs> taking my own notes yeah. as you understand. Yeah. But I think we can proceed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the one that intrigues me more here is, yes. is the one that says a slave who becomes king. A slave who becomes king. So, so this this chap was a slave all mm. his life, mm. and somehow by the twist of fate or, or what have you. Mm. He then becomes a king. Mm. So he is ruling now, mm. and he is ruling a kingdom. But mm. he was a slave all his life. Mm. Now he says, the, the, the writer of Proverbs here, yeah. Solomon, the wise man, yeah. he says, that is one thing that would make the world to tremble. It, it would shake the very foundations of the earth mm. when that happens. Mm. When you have... A slave that becomes king mm. and starts ruling. Mm. Now let's let's then bring it back to, to where Which we are. Which is actually mm. our common case in Africa. Yes. We are colonized, we come yes. from slaves, yes. We, yes. and we all of a sudden gain independence yes. and we take over. That, that, that I think you, you you're getting the script. You, you, yes. You're getting the script yes. there. So that's really what I'm saying. Mm. The slave when he is a slave, mm. there is a certain mentality that a slave has, mm. which is called slave mentality. Mm. That when slave this, mentality. Yes. You are a leader with a slave mentality. Yes. Now you must understand now, now, this. That, yeah, must really make the world I, tremble. Right? I, I, I do not know if you read about a chap called William Lynch. Yes, 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 the American. Yes, yes, yeah. and, 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 oh, and there's the lynching the, thing, yeah. yes, the, mm. the concept of lynching where mm. slaves were. But this chap mm. in 1712, mm. he was a slave owner mm. in the West Indies. Mm. He was then invited by the Southerners where sl the slave trade was very entrenched. Mm. And they were having problems with the slaves because mm. the black slaves, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the Africans that had been. Uh, uh, taken across their oceans from Africa to 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 to, to America to yes. work in the in the in the you know uh, uh, plantations and everywhere. Yes. Now he he they had a problem. Slaves were starting to rebel. Some were not uh, you know cooperative and all that. They were having that problem. Mm. So they 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 called this guy because he he was fairly successful. He mm. didn't have that kind of problem. So mm. he came in 1712 and he 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 he, he actually wrote a letter. Mm. that he, he called the making of a slave. Mm. And he said, I'm going to teach you something that if you're going to follow it, mm. you're going to be able to enslave the black man for the next 300 years. Mm. And that's very interesting because that was in the 1700s. And, and what was it that he said about that? He, he said a lot of things. I, mm. I would actually encourage leader, uh, readers, mm. I mean uh, our listeners, to actually mm. go. You, you can actually find that letter mm. online. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, uh, just say uh, uh, William, William Lynch or Willie Lynch. William Lynch. Yes. Yeah, the, the making of a slave. Mm. And uh, one of the things that he mentioned was maximize their differences. Let them, you know, maximize their wow. differences. <laughs> and, 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 and you, when the one is light and the other is dark, just focus on that. 
mm. when the la when the other is staying in this place and the other is staying there, maximize. So he he mm. actually mentioned some some of some of the things that that would actually six of divide and rule. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And he says do that, mm. and uh, you know he 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 mentioned a lot of the other thing that he mentioned. He says eliminate their mother tongue. They must not use their mother tongue. <laughs> uh, what has happened in our, in our own circumstances? <laughs> he says, eliminate their mother tongue. But he mm. says, but even when they, must, they, they now learn your language, they mm. mustn't lo know everything about your language. Because if they know everything about your language, mm. they will get to know your secrets. They'll, they'll, they'll become a, a, a smart. Mm. So he says, don't teach them everything. Mm. Uh, because if you teach them everything, mm. they, they will be no more than slaves. If when we grew up and we were learning uh, biology, in biology, the anatomy, yeah. we would be taught the anatomy of a locust yes. and the anatomy of, fact, a, a, of an earthworm. It was an ultimate bantu education. The anatomy of an earthworm. What are you going to do with earthworms in the real life? You, the, you, we're, you, we're you, product you were not. Of, we're your, of them. That is bantu <laughs> education. That was yeah. what it was. Mm. Teach them things that are just, you know, we're mm. whiling away time. Mm. It's not going to help them in anything. Mm. But. Let's go back to this whole thing of um, slave mentality. As, as you, you, you articulate on that. Yes. Because we also want to know how then do we break away from this? Yeah. Because it seems we, we're stuck on, on this situation. We're stuck and um, uh, it's something that we had no control about. Yes. That yes. we become slaves. Yes. And here we are given yes. power. Yes. Uh, I must say political power yes, for that matter. Yes, yes. When place we can change things, we can we participate here. An expert in advising on on legislation, we can change legislation yeah. to you know to promote this. We mm. talked about inequality, yes. inequalities. Yes. Uh, that you, Lynch speaks about. Yes. Know, uh, the the separation of people. Yes. Of course, that increases yes. uh, inequalities and yes. so on. Yes. Yes. And how do we move on as a people, as Africans, yeah. to to make sure that. Uh, this mm. path that we had no control yeah. with, 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 like a, 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 you know, a bed in the cage, we yeah. became trapped. How yes. do we move out of this? Yes, that's the thing. I think yes. that's, the, that's the big question. Mm. Because it's not intellectual learning mm. and education mm. that we need. Mm. We have had a lot of that, mm. uh, very educated. Yes. It is about us understanding who we are as a people mm. and understanding the effect that colonization has had on us but, as but, a people. But Dr. Someone could say who's watching, yeah. and I'm sorry to interject at yes, this point, yes, yes, just yes. Mm. as move on so you can. Mm. We have had the philosophy of black consciousness. Yes. People who interpreted to us the Biko yes. and, uh, and the like, the mm. black consciousness mm. uh, philosophy, you know yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, telling us about who we are, yeah. to appreciate ourselves, yes. uh, and so on. Yes. Shouldn't that in itself elevate us and have us break loose from this uh, it, it's very interesting because because here, here was steve biko and he advocated for this mm. he was so much passionate about it he yes. so much believed in it mm. that he was willing to become a martyr yes. for that yes he died for that cause yes. yes but the others that are that claim to be proponents of that mm. are they really true to his spirit or mm. is it just about politicizing mm. politicizing mm. the whole thing mm. politicizing mm. black consciousness mm. as, a, as a political ideology mm. so I'm saying that is very important and very critical because the reason I'm saying this is that um, it has pe people have thrived on that on that ideology for example mm. just as a way of advancing their own political they don't seem to mean what they say. Steve Biko meant it. Yes. Nelson Mandela meant it. Mm. Um, there's something that, that actually happened that I think um, Nelson Mandela um, um, very quickly um, realized that there was something missing mm. in, 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 in our, you know, what the, 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 the offering of the new dispensation. Mm. Uh, which came with much fanfare and a lot of promise mm. in terms of wanting to help mm. uh, you know um, uh, uh, our people he they introduced the, uh, the concept of rdp mm. which is uh, you know reconstruction and, and, and development, development yes. and and it was really about uh, uplifting 
the African person mm. and, and putting them in a, in a pedestal where they would be able to be, become independent, <clears throat> you know, mm. uh, uh, um, <clears throat> not only politically but economically and in everything. Mm. But they realized and in 1999, mm. at the opening of parliament, mm. Nelson Mandela spoke about something. He introduced the concept of the RDP of the soul. The RDP so, of the soul. Yes, and sort of recognizing that there's something missing. What, what, what did that mean? And, and how does that relate to the issue of leadership? Yes, us? yes. He, he, he said, he said, this is about, we, we need a, a, a new reconstruction and development program mm. that is about the moral regeneration of our society. Mm. That is about, and very important, he says, that is about self-respect. Self-respect. And that is also then about respect for others. Mm. That element of self-respect is very important and very critical. Mm. To understand that our humanity does not derive mm. from anything else. It does not derive from the affirmation of others. Mm. It derives from us as a person having that dignity mm. of being, uh, you know, a, a, a part of the family of humanity mm. as ordained by God. Mm. And, and understanding our position in that. Once you understand that, mm. what, that that's how you deal with the slave mentality, mm. the, the, the mentality mm. of dependence, mm. the, the mentality, once you are a slave and you're there, and that's why he says the other thing is mm. a fool who's then given food. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's in, in the book of Proverbs. In the, in the book of Proverbs that I spoke about. Mm. Be, and <clears throat> and doctor, the late Dr. Miles Monroe spoke about this. Mm. He spoke about that concept of a slave who becomes king. Mm. And he says that's the problem of our, of our leaders, of, of African leadership, mm. in that we became leaders, they mm. became leaders, mm. whilst they had not yet had this sense of uh, affirmation, mm. self-affirmation, mm. in terms of their dignity as a mm. human. Mm. That my dignity does not come from the amassment of 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 wealth of 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 riches because the problem is that when people had come there they said they then said now it's my time to, it's our turn to eat so so then doctor yes um so ladies and gentlemen yes <laughs> this is quite interesting yes. uh, I'm, i've joined you i'm part of the audience <laughs> there <laughs> you know uh, and and getting learned uh, yes. I'll, I'll i'll walk out of here more better than i was we, we we're discussing here about the, the, the importance of leadership, mm. uh, but in the context of Africa and African leaders. Yes. And, and the doctor here is unpacking that mm. the problems that uh, he views as the, the root cause of the, 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 the leadership failure mm. in Africa that speaks to the issue of uh, mm. uh, slave mentality mm. uh, and, and how we need to you know, break away from uh, as such yes. and, and is providing solutions. Yes. So, so I think y you must provide I'm very much interested. So yeah. you were talking about mm. um, the RBT, uh, RDP of the soul. Yes. S uh, affirming your own dignity as a yes, person. As a person. Something that is lacking. It, it, something it, that is foreign. We've never been taught that. It's a concept that was punted. That I, I Nelson, think let's stay Nelson, on this Nelson, for the next few Nelson minutes. Mandela yes. spoke about it. And I think he saw it. Mm. Because realize it was now 1999, mm. um, how many years after, after the new dawn? Several. And, and he realized that still there's something remiss, something yeah. lacking. Mm. And he was trying to try and pinpoint mm. to that. Mm. What is the real thing? And he says, unless we start to respect ourselves as a mm. person, mm. that um, we want to be like others. Mm. When, when you are a leader in the African context, because you yes. must context, leadership is contextual. Yes. It's very yes. important. Most definitely. Yes. yes. You must contextualize your leadership. Mm. And what I mean by that, what are you as a leader in the African context? Mm. What must you lead people into? Mm. You mentioned the issue of economic uh, development, which yes. is very critical because mm. we came from a background or from a, a, a a past where mm. we had been marginalized yeah. as, as the Africans from participating in, in economic life and mm. then, you know, being able to, to really uh, drive value from that. Mm. Now, what is a leader? The question is, what is a leader in the African context? Yes. What is a leader? Mm. Because a leader is someone who galvanizes people, mm. uh, uh, you know, uh, together so that he can, he can 
uh, 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 influences them in order to attain these particular goals. Mm. In the African context, mm. a leader is, a, is, is one who would understand his own people, mm. understand their own their conditions. Mm. What are the conditions of the black man? What, is, what mm. are the conditions of the African? Mm. The conditions of lack, mm. impoverishment, mm. Uh, uh, backwardness and all that. What is a leader in that context? Mm. A leader is someone who will be saying, I want to help my people carry them mm. so that we come out of these. Mm. Now, when this person now comes into a position of authority yes. and all he's thinking about now is his stomach, mm. I'm in the position where I'm now exposed mm. The reason why he then quickly forgets mm. what uh, he was saying, even when he was uh, campaigning, mm. is because of that slave mentality that he has had. And how can, so we're, we're, we're part of the solution now in terms of applying the corrective, there, yeah, therefore. Yeah, yes. Um, because uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be accurate in what I'll, yeah, I'll submit yeah, now. Yeah, yes. That because he, this leader, these leaders themselves, yes. I was asking you if you have been watching the, the Zondo Commission yeah, because yeah, this yeah. thing is time to, yeah. to manifest there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, they, they are victims, these leaders themselves, yeah, yeah. which they are not aware. Yes. You know? Yes. And, and they need to uh, move out, have this self um, uh, affirmation, understand that as you put it, yeah. you don't um, get offended by the, mm. uh, the world that you amass around yourself. Yeah, yes, yes. You know, so they are still victims of that mentality. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and, and therefore leave, the, our, leave our people in... What, what was the notion of, the, the, of, the, the notion of success yes. that we had from the white man mm. is about... It, it's even going down to our own systems that mm. we're having. Mm. We, we have inherited from the West, the, mm. the white man, the system mm. of capitalism. Mm. Is capitalism the best system that we need within the African context in terms of leadership? Well, in we've terms inherited it. You understand Marcus, what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Marcus, the democratic so, 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 so you know what I'm saying? Yes. What I'm saying is in the capitalist system, what is the concept of success, of a mm. successful person? Yeah. Is a person who has amassed yes. and, all, and, and all that. Mm. Now, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not there by saying that communism is therefore then yeah, the alternative yeah. um, mm. a, a, a system that we need to, yeah. to resort to. Because mm. communism has also proven itself to be, uh, e e e even those that were proponents of that, mm. were proven to be hypocrites, you mm. know, animal farm. Mm. All animals are equal yeah. in the beginning, yeah. but then now at the Everyone end, more, uh, more are more equal than, equal than others. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 so. The, the ideology, for example, of communism, socialism has been very appealing because, mm. but in practice, mm. it, has, it has been seen that uh, proven to be a repressive. But we're not going to be successful in dismantling these systems. You yeah. know? They manifest everywhere, whether even the, the, the law that we use, the Roman Dutch law mm. that has been finally imposed. You, you, you're right. You're, so, you, so, you're, you're right. So mm. I'm, I'm saying, let's go to ourselves as a people. Let's go to it is, as a people. And it's very mm. important, therefore, when you understand that I'm, I'm, I'm actually was encouraged mm. when our constitutional dispensation and our constitutional courts recognized mm. the, the concept of Ubuntu, Ubuntu. as being key mm. to us as a people. Mm. And it's the extent to which we actually then apply it. Because mm. in our communities, for example, let's, let's go, back, go back many years. Mm. In, in our communities where mm. we had uh, chiefs mm. and all that, mm. uh, there was uh, what, um, uh, 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 you know, what was called, um, you know, the, the, the community mm. would go and work in the, in the fields, in the mm. land of the chief, Zundera mm. Ndavizita. And, and they would go. I like it that way. <laughs> yes, yes. So they would go there and, yeah. and they would work there. And, and they would, it was understood that you need to go and work in the, in the chief's uh, fields, mm. lands. Mm. But what was, about, what was it about that? Mm. It was the fact that in times of lack of famine, mm. when, whenever, whenever the, the, the chief's um, fields mm. you know, yielded uh, good crops mm. and they would be put would into barns and all that, mm. in times of famine and whatever, mm. the, the chief was then, would then, everybody knew that they would not go hungry yeah. because... They had worked in the chief's um, yeah. uh, lands, they and then they, and uh, it, it, uh, it's a type of leadership. It's mm. a leadership mm. that had worked mm. for us. Mm. 
the intellectuals mm. can can conceptualize that and mm. find a, 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 a good articulation of that and within as a system of governance yes you understand what i'm saying yeah. as a system of governance mm. so that it is something that we then interpret for ourselves capitalism has been a system that has, has worked for 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 for, for the world for, mm. for the west mm. but what is it that we need for ourselves mm. let's not forget because the, the west tend to interpret that as as dictatorship yeah you know when you have these kings and then, although they have kings eh? yeah. in, in, in the West also <laughs> themselves, but it's our yeah. realities who are it is it is ours that are now <laughs> that are problematic. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, you can participate here. Mm. We're talking about leadership. Yeah. Um, is there real hope mm. in African leaders mm. in uh, bringing the much uh, desired development mm. in, in the African continent and we're grappling with these mm. most difficult issues mm. you know um, in the continent. We're left with very few minutes uh, but uh, if you are there you want to interact with us you want to pose a question to the doctor please do so we're left with about five minutes now um, uh, uh, I always feel this time is too small, you know. <laughs> when we are now warming up, now yeah. we must cut. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, from home, from wherever you are, if you feel you, you want to add to this debate, or even if it's a comment, please do so, and we, we, we can be able to access that comment and uh, and, and engage with you. Uh, mm -hmm. But we are going to sum up in, in, in the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so, your submission. Yes. Dr. Balo, is that yes, yes. intellectuals can mm, actually mm. go to the archives yes. of our mm. the African history yes. of, of governance yes. and try to mm. interpolate this into yes. mm. a system of governance that mm. can work effectively for Africans. What? And, and I think they are aware of that. Yeah. But you mm. see, when they are standing to benefit now, mm. looking only on the... And, and that is where you then say they are not leaders. Because leadership you are either a leader or you're not that that's a fact There's that no those that claim to be leaders that, yeah. but they're not leadership is a is a is a rare find but the good thing about it is leadership can be learned there are those who there's been a, this this question that you know has been asked uh, mm. are people born in leaders or do they become leaders yeah and and i think it's both in my and view I, I, we're talking about that i want you to comment also on this one yeah doctor. yeah on the context of what we're talking about, because yes. I think one of the, mm. the problems, mm. fundamental problems in mm. African leadership, yes. the deployment, yes, political deployment, yes, yes, it's not about you are a leader. Yeah. It's about you somehow mm. you have credentials that yeah. earns you the to, position to mm. be there. And there's a difference between a, a manager and a leader. Mm. Uh, uh, some don't even qualify as managers. At least if you are a manager, you can manage somebody else's um, <laughs> resources. Yeah. But uh, leadership goes beyond that. That's mm. why I'm saying you are either a leader or not. Mm. But the question is to but whether... But all this, uh, these uh, patriarchs who mm. have been there... And they we were... have had the leaders that have influenced... I mean, I, I like uh, currently there's a Professor Lumumba from Kenya yes. who has yeah, been yeah, yeah. Uh, all, all over uh, I mean, uh, YouTube and all that. And I think he's really someone to, to look at and look mm. at his concepts that he's uh, propagating. Yes. Uh, uh, but... Um, Unless, there's this um, uh, short anecdote that maybe I should give it before we, we, we wrap up. Uh, yes. uh, it's, it's a story of, a, of, a, of a, a boy who was a child who was born in the royal family. He's actually the a son of a king. Mm. And, uh, you know, he was groomed in royalty in being mm. a king and how, a, a, king, how mm. a king should uh, behave and, mm. and all that. Mm. Now, it so happened that um, his uh, father was killed in battle. His, the kingdom was, uh, uh, you know, removed mm. and all that. And then mm. he was then captured. Mm. Then they knew that he's, he was, he's actually the, 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 the correct claimant to the throne. Yes. And they wanted to create a situation. Somebody advised that if you want to deal with this young man, mm. um, teach him, mm. teach him to start um, saying curse words mm. and all that. Make him, uh, uh, make him, um, uh, what, what was the word, um, uh, uh, um, barbarian, you mm. know, that kind of mm. thing. Mm. And um, Interestingly, that's something that like um, this Lynch, Willie Lynch was trying to, to say that mm. um, uh, make them not to appreciate who they are and mm. their dignity and all that. Mm. And, and so he, they tried to do this to this uh, boy, say, yeah, yeah. teaching him to curse and mm. all that. The boy would not do it. Mm. 
They say they tried everything. They say, you know, we'll give you this, we'll give you this, and mm. he he said he said no, I'm 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 royalty. I'm mm. a king. Mm. I can't do that. Mm. And he 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 held on to that. Mm. Now he knew who he was. Mm. Now again, going to back it. to what we're saying, yes. what is a leader in the African context? You are leading people towards mm. something else, towards mm. bettering their 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 goals. And mm. what is it that? Africa is plagued with mm. diseases, mm. poverty, mm. and all that. What is a leader in that context? Mm. A leader is someone who would be carrying their, his or her people mm. towards achieving mm. uh, you know, objectives that will lift mm. them up. A leader would be more interested in the people attaining those things mm. than him. So, so that's what I'm saying. Mm. We need to start schooling ourselves, mm. understanding who we are, mm. and um, affirming our own dignity as a affirming people. Affirming our, our own dignity mm. As, as a people, learning selfless, um, you know, uh, 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 sacrifice mm. and, and, and in leadership. Leading by true conviction. Because leaders mm. are those who sometimes would trail the blaze. Mm. And they themselves mm. may not attain mm. that which they are aspiring for. I that, have that, a dream. Yes, I have mm. a dream. Mm. And, and yet, they, they, they want to draw the people close. And they mm. say, I may not reach there myself. Mm. But this is where we should be I'm going. Breaking ground for the next and, generation. And, and that concept of it's our time to eat, mm. that concept of I did not join the struggle mm. to suffer. Mm. It's, it's for the, 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 fool, the fool who <laughs> eats. The, <laughs> the fool who, 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 who is given food. Yeah. So, so it's that element that is, that is, that is lacking. Um, we need to start schooling ourselves as to who we are, mm. a, a, a true leader. So we must start, and schooling the people also, because mm. it's also about the people mm. rising up so that they can appoint the, the true, leaders. true leaders. But our political system also mm. has not, has not um, permitted that, mm. in the sense that, as you say, mm. deployment mm. And, and, and all that. So those are things that, the, it's not just the, the leaders themselves that need to get to know about it. The people themselves mm. need to know what to expect from a leader mm. and need to know where they cannot continue again mm. and again. Mm. They say if you do one thing again and again, the mm. same thing, mm. that is the definition of insanity. Mm. So, so you expect different results. Yeah, you expect different results. Yeah. So, so really people must start holding our leaders accountable mm. so that they prove themselves. Mm. And we need to change our electoral system. Mm. I was happy that the Constitutional Court mm. agreed that uh, we can have a system where mm. uh, 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 we can, you can vote, I mean, you can directly elect um, people living in independence. Yeah. I think we are going closer to mm. achieving something there. Because that's how you hold people accountable. Mm. Those people that must truly be leaders mm. are people that must be true to their word. And you can take them and remove them if mm. needs be. Yeah, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll have to pause you here. I think over the How many minutes? Well, over our time, right? By how many minutes? Can you indicate to us? Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, I think this is a vast topic. Uh, I've, I've mentioned that. Uh, but we, we think we've gone beyond just scratching the surface, you know, trying to, yeah. you know, plumb a bit deeper into these aspects. And we, we, like I've said, we, 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 uh, we, we, they are inexhaustible. They'll stay with us, but we, we want to provoke debates, you know, arguments around these issues. We want people, scholars, to seriously uh, and critically reflect on these issues of, 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 of leaders in Africa and, and how we can move forward and advance uh, our people. I think in the interest of time, I'll give uh, the doctor uh, just uh, one minute just to wrap up. And, but I must thank you again, sir, for, okay. for making the time. We really appreciate the insight, the, the input, mm. the passion that you have mm. for leadership. I, I believe, I hope God will give us the grace to sit again. And mm. uh, there are a lot of things I wanted to talk about yeah. Um, yeah. as it relates to leadership, mm. you know. Um, uh, various issues uh, as it relates to African leadership, but, mm -hmm. but time will allow us. Yeah. What yeah. will be your last comment, uh, input to our viewers uh, yeah. on this on these issues? I think I must say that I, I, I like I like um, what you have started, mm -hmm. and I think we need to keep the conversations uh, yes. you know going. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's when people start to talk about these things yes. that they start to to have meaning, and yeah. people must must learn to question. Leaders must be, be, be held to account. Yes. 
and, and people must not just accept mm. uh, things as, as they are, the mm. status quo. Yeah. Uh, we, we need to, and I'll, I'll, this platform, I think it's a good platform because yes. uh, people can start talking about things yes. uh, and, and, and start asking questions mm. and start saying, you know, what is it that we need to do mm. to ensure that as a people, I, because it's not about the black man not, not being capable of being a leader. Mm. It, it's about us having been deprived of our humanity mm. and our worth, mm. our sense of worth, mm. that makes us now mm. being those people that now become fools that are okay. given food mm. and slaves. But we have to start with soul searching and, yes. and, 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 and determine our own destiny as yes. people. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you again, Doctor. We really appreciate uh, the time. Yes. Uh, this was our episode five on Nectar of Reason. Uh, cross-pollinating ideas and vandalizing ignorance <laughs> you know uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, um, until we uh, come again next time in uh, uh, episode number six and uh, thank you so much uh, if you have inputs any comments any insights that you think you you can suggest or or give to us please you you're more than welcome uh, and, and thank you so much god bless you Shaf -shaf. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah.